All right, hey guys, Jason here. What we're gonna be talking about is this bad boy setup right here. Okay, what we're looking at here is the ultimate affordability mobile run and gun setup. We got weights, we got specs, we got the details, we got everything here for you on what we got going on. But, so what we have here is we live in a world where everybody thinks that a tree stand has to be $600 to be good. And I've fallen for that myself too. I've had the B stand, which is a great stand. I have a Lone Wolf Custom Gear 1.0 sitting right there. It's a great stand. I have the Assaults, great stands. You know, their Assault is always going to be my favorite stand. But this stand combo here really wins. What we have is we have a Rubicon. This is an XOP Rubicon. And we have the XOP sticks on here with the folding, you know, where they're the like the lone wolf sticks that I love so much, where they fold. Um, and I've reviewed each one of these pieces individually. Um, and uh, so we'll be able to see that kind of stuff as well too. I'll link those at the end of this. But what we win here with is cost versus capability. Okay, that's the beauty of this. And they win at both. Very good. There is only one sacrifice to this setup. One, and it's minor. Okay, some of you guys will think it's the end of the world, but it's really minor. But realistically, there's only one downside to this system. We'll get into that. But so what do we get here with this? So we get three of these 34-inch sticks. They might call them 32s, but they're actually 34-inch bars on here. So they're a smid two inches longer than my Lone Wolf sticks. Um, but we have these sticks on here, and we have the amazing Rubicon stand. We will separate this out and put it together. But what do you think this setup here weighs, okay? What do you what do you think this is? You're like, oh, my God, that's XOP. That's, uh, that's got to be extremely high. That's got to be, you know, this kind of stuff. Well, weight-wise... We are coming in at this setup as I'm holding it right here, which I just measured on my scale. Now it's rudimentary because of what I did. It's electric scale, but I stood on it with what I'm wearing. I stood on it. I got a number on there, and then I went ahead, grabbed this, and stood on it with it. Did it three times for each stand combo so that it was, and it always came up exactly the same. So I'm figuring it's pretty same. But what we're coming in at with this setup, including this seat over the mesh seat, because this stand hides a bonus in here. But with this seat on here, or this pad over the mesh seat on here, we're coming in at uh, 23.5 pounds for this setup. People are like, oh my god, 23.5. Well, let me break it down for you here that if I were to take my beloved, loved, my amazing three pieces of lone wolf sticks, which I love to death, okay, which are lighter than these, but also sacrificing in many ways for a lot of people, but I love these, Again, major advantages, but we're talking weight. When we take these and I combine them and set them up the same way as that on my 1.0, my Lone Wolf Custom Gear 1.0 stand right here, what do we think we're coming in at weight at? We're coming in at 17.2 pounds. So that's a difference, basically, a five pound difference between that setup and this with sticks on there. Five pounds. Okay, some people think, oh my God, that's a ridiculous amount. It really isn't. But what if we take the same thing on my Assault with those Lone Wolf sticks and we put them on here, where do we come in at when we put that combination together? 19.7 pounds. So we got a difference of two and a quarter pounds between, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, we got a difference of uh, uh, 23.5 there. We are a difference of four pounds between this setup and uh, with those sticks versus that. Now, the big difference is coming in at the sticks. The sticks are the sacrifice of weight. Now, if I were to take my Lone Wolf Assault stand and we were to put the sticks on there and combine that together, did I say what that comes in at? Uh, yeah, I said that comes in at 19.7. But if I take this Rubicon stand here and I put my Lone Wolf sticks and get rid of those XOP sticks, and I put these super light sticks on here, we bring this weight down to uh, 19.2, which is actually less than my assault stand with sticks, okay? So you gotta take that into consideration. You gotta understand the reality of what we're talking about. Now these sticks that are on here are heavier, coming in at, uh, these sticks come in at 11.8 pounds for three of these, versus uh, 8.7 pounds for three of the other ones. So that's where your big difference comes in. So if we take these sticks off of here and we think about that, now these sticks here, now they're heavy, yes, and I did a video on them, but I'm telling you right now, uh, for a lot of people, they're worth it because these sticks offer a tremendous advantage 
in the form that these sticks here are, the step is so huge, such a huge step, so much room, they angle upward. You got this sweep at the end, plus the stick angles upward. They got this massive big offset that gives you plenty of room for your feet in here. These are still pivoting offsets, which is very nice. They got a nice locking detent in the middle where when I turn it, it locks back to center, boom, like that. Love them. Um, and you have this massive sized, massive sized stop set up here. They interlock together, but you got this huge stopper portion. If we look right here, look at how big and beefy all this is. Okay, so this is a very, very well-made set of sticks and they're two inches longer. So when you combine that, you're getting a little bit more weight that's gonna come into play on these sticks, yes. But here's the beauty of the sticks, $100. $100 versus Right here in a box, another set of these, brand new, not even open, right here, sit in a box, right here. You can't buy them as a three-piece set, okay? So you got to buy them as a four-piece or a three-piece. A four-piece is $279 or they're 90, 90 bucks a piece, okay? So realistically, you're for the price of one of these sticks, you can get three of these. Now, these sticks also... Over top of this, okay, when we look at it, these sticks are a little bit heavier, yes. However, they have a better stand off, or more room standing off, which gives you more boot room on a tread so you can get your foot in there deeper. You have a bigger step with more room and purchase area on it with better grip and a nice sweep up on there. You have a very robust system that interlocks together into its own self on there. I'll show you that in a second. And you have two inches longer of a stick when you set them side by side and put them into a real world here. Take one of these and we stand them together, put both bars on the ground. You can see the length difference, okay? So you get longer, you get more room on there as well too. Hopefully you can see how we put it back here. Standing bar to bar, okay? You can see that right there, bar to bar. Right there like that. So we get that advantage to them. So yes, they come at a weight cost. There's no doubt about it. Here's how they interlock. You take this, you twist it, pop this right out of here but you can stack all three of them together like this you take this one you put it right on top of this one i gotta get the stand out of there because this is how these would work but they will basically interlock like this turn that step up and they lock together in there like that and you can put the third one and they lock together as a stack again i have a whole video on this that'll be out for you so that's your sticks okay that's the sticks. I use a swim noodle on there because of the way I carry them. I do not interlock them like this. I'm not doing that. I gotta carry them like I just showed you the setup. That's how I would carry these. But now, so those sticks are a hundred bucks for three of them. They are built well, they are quality. Yes, they are a little bit heavier, but they are going to be very comfortable on the tree. Okay, if you're somebody who's not comfortable climbing, if you're somebody who gets a little nervous at heights, if you're somebody that's a little, you know, these are going to do that. If you hunt in the rain, snow, and stuff like that with big Mickey Mouse boots, these are going to be so much better for you. So, and there are three of them for $100. Makes part of this system pretty brilliant. Yes, is it a little bit more of a weight cost? Yeah, you're going from 11.8 to 8.7, let's give you the exact number on there just so I don't get yelled at here. So if we do that math on there and we go 11.8 minus 8.7 is three pounds, one ounce difference. And this is full hunt ready setup, uh, uh, everything on them, okay? Three pounds difference, one pound more per stick over those, but a tremendous amount of comfort and security and reliability in them that a lot of people are going to love for a hundred dollars now what about the stand we have the rubicon okay the rubicon the amazing new uh xop rubicon where does this thing fit into here as part of this system this stand is very very similar to this stand as far as platform size Okay, they are basically identical, as you see, platform-wise. I mean, they are almost a spitting image of each other platform size. Okay, they're very, very, very close to each other as far as the actual platforms go. Okay, there's no denying that. Okay, these tans are very, very similar to each other in pretty much every sense of the way, which is also true for move stuff around here. I got stuff laying everywhere. 
which is also true for this stand right here, the amazing Lone Wolf Assault stand. Okay, we are getting, we are platform wise, we are very, very similar. Okay, they are not a lot different in platform shapes and size. Okay, we put them together and I mean, they're almost identical. They're almost identical. Okay, let that sink in. They're almost identical. Okay, when you think about that. So, um, so you're getting a lot for your value as far as platform size and options with this Rubicon, okay? So it's a great stand. Now, I've only hung it on a tree a few times. I will actually do a full review because this stand is going with me on my Midwest trip. This stand is gonna be out there with me and I'm gonna use a crap out of it. Why? One major reason, but I am so excited about this tree stand. I, I really am. Um, and again, I got very expensive stands sitting here. But, so we got the Rubicon. All right, I set mine up the way I got it. I have it haul hunt ready, ready to go. One thing too to note, XOP, the strap length they give you is literally like, is a solid 30% longer than any strap you get on any other stand. Look at how long this strap is to go around a tree. The other ones come in and stop about right here. You get about this much more strap with the Lone Wolf. It's very, or I mean with the, sorry, get all my names wrong. With the XOP, you get this amazing amount of strap length, okay? The other ones pretty much stop about right there. This is all extra that you're getting with this. It's very impressive. So we have the platform here. This is that Rubicon. What does it offer that, um, let me say, what do, does any of the other stands offer that this one doesn't? Nothing, okay? There's nothing that it doesn't offer. It's got it all, okay? It's got plenty of traction beads and traction all over the platform. So we like that option. You got all these little knobs and bumps and things like that. The outers, the edges of this are very nice and rounded and smooth. They're very comfortable. They're not sharp, okay? They're not cutting stuff up like the, the, the one of the other stands is. Okay, this is a beautifully done platform. I like it. We have round Versa buttons, okay? That means that it's, see how easy that is to switch that from side to side if I wanna go around the other side of the tree, okay? You can't do that on all stands. Some of them are squared and built right into the actual platform and it's not easy to do that. I like that option on there. We have one, two, three, four, five different leveling positions on there. And here we have a leveling position for the seat, which I can access without having to lift the seat. Right back here in the back, I have a adjustment bolt right here that lets me adjust the height of the seat to wherever I want it to be for whatever angle I need it to be on. So I can adjust that right there. So that's a beautiful feature on this stand. Bat wing wise, we have a bat wing right back here. Standard, simple, it is basically like the other ones. However, this one is a solid piece. There is no venting, no anything in there, um, any of that kind of stuff, and I like it. I've already chamfered it like I do all my stands, and I've chamfered the back of the platform just very lightly with a file so that it slides down a tree. Chamfered there, chamfered there. So I have that done already. This stand is very, very comfortable. It sits on the tree and it bites very well. It's got good adjustability here. It's got good adjustability for the seat. It's got good offset out of there. And now one thing I do not care for too much is see how close the Versa button is to this bracket. See how close these are together? But they did something cool for it. But notice how close these are. I would have rather seen this down here lower to give you more angle so when the strap comes around, let's put it over here. Look how easy it is to swing that to that side. But when you put this on a tree level and then it drops, okay, you're gonna wanna hit this, but see how this is all chamfered? So it slides right inside of there and works pretty dang good unless you're on a super small tree. If you're on a super small tree, then it might catch underneath here, but you gotta be on a pretty dang little tree. So I love how they angled and chamfered this. I'll bring it in and closer and show you. And this will all be relevant in the stand video, okay? But you can see that chamfering and how compact that is. It's done on purpose. So they did a great job with that. Um, so this stand will hang on any tree that any of the other ones are. It will hang offset. Either way, because of this bracket, it can tip if the tree's leaning. Okay, it can tip either way without a problem. No issues there whatsoever. Platform is, like I said, almost identical size to all of these. The same type of adjustment, same type of adjustment. This one does turn into a pack shelf if you want to. You gotta screw this bolt all the way out this way 
And then you flip it over and it gets caught into, or wait, you gotta screw it in. I'll never use this feature, so I don't, I haven't played with it. I'll never use it. But uh, you can take this whole thing, screw it in, and it's gonna go into there, and then you're gonna tighten it up. Uh, and it's supposed to bite, right? Did I yet? No, hang on. I gotta, I don't understand how, but it's supposed to bite into this when you screw it and it's gonna lock and hold itself. Is it doing it? No, I missed. But it, probably because I got the seat cushion on, but this is supposed to lock itself into a notch inside of there. Oh, I gotta go all the way down. Hold on, all the way down. But uh, it does have this feature on here for you to be able to take this and turn it into a meat shelf uh, to pack your gear on. I, I Like I said, I personally would never, ever use this. And one bit. Hang on. We got a dropper in there. Come on, drop in. This has to go. There we go. And then this screws in. And it's going to bite on there, I think. Yeah, like that, and now it becomes a meat packing shelf, so you can pack, so you can put your gear right on there if you want to. I will never use that feature. I could care less about that feature, but if it matters to you, that's how it's done, basically. And uh, that's how it's gonna work. Let me pop this back out of here. There we go. But that is an option if you want it. The Lone Wolf Custom Gear 1.0 does the same thing with two tabs that stick in. Like I said, in my opinion, a useless feature. But this stand, has this cushion on his seat. This thing is super comfortable, like unbelievably comfortable. Then my favorite way to run it, we just pop this strap off of here and we pop this strap off of here and we have an actual mesh seat. Look at that beauty right there. Love this. This is by far the most comfortable seat I've ever been on. I cannot say it enough. I love this seat. Okay, this is how I would run it all the time. I probably wouldn't even use this. I would just run it like this nonstop. And this also saves you a half a pound. It takes this stand down to 9.6 pounds. Okay, 9.6 pounds set up with the cushion on there. This stand comes in at 11 pounds total. Strap on here, the uh, my uh, swim or my uh, uh, yak grip, uh, my paracord straps, all the stuff I got on here, including that cushion, everything set up. It comes in at 11 pounds um, on my scale, which is basically. Same thing as what an assault does, you know, it's right there. But this way it's supposed to be 9.6 pounds. And I love, love this stand. I mean, I love it. The seat is amazing. So we're going to use the crap out of this thing this year. Why? Because I want to. When I got it, I originally got it for the fact of making just this video and a couple of, you know, making a little, hey, this is a good budget thing. If you're in my Patreon stuff, you're gonna follow me. You're gonna see when I'm on my Midwest trip and hitting those three states, I'm probably gonna be in a stand a whole bunch. Why? I'm doing all day sits and this seat is worth gold. This seat is worth its weight in gold, 100%, hands down, by far the most comfortable seat. I straight up love it. And to get a mesh seat, to get a nice, amazing quality cushion. I love this cushion. Okay, there's things about these other ones that I do not care for. There are many things that I do not care for on these other stands too. But this one here, the seat wins hands down. This is an amazing option on there as well too. The adjustability of this is, is pretty perfect. I love that when I hang this, see how you got this gap in here for where that seat adjuster is? When I go to hang this on a tree, it gives something to rest my hand on. I love that. So I can take this, open it up, and I got this support right there to put my hand on and while I set it against the tree and wrap the strap around I really like that little features there but this stand has great seat all adjustability perfect size platform that's rock solid great offset capability with the bat wing load shelf capability with it quality brand extra cushion and it comes with a harness that if I have not opened, but if I'm correct in which one this is, it's gonna be pretty golden. Let's see here what we get. We get, is this a lineman belt? Let's see what we get in this. I have not even opened this yet. Let's just see what we're looking at. We get a Prusik style lineman belt that is phenomenal quality. Look at this. Look at the quality of this. Okay, sealed ends, Prusik knot on there, steel carabiner, Adjustable Prusik, and you know, I mean, this is this is nice. Okay, this is a very very nice 
climbing or a lineman belt. It's not, you know, like my Rope Man 1 lining belt, lining belt or lineman belt, but this is a very good quality lineman belt. Vitally important that you have this. Mandatory that you have this. You also get the secondary strap as well too if you want to run the bottom one on the Versa button down there to really lock the strap in. Now I want to see this harness. What do I got here? Let's take a look at this thing and see if it is because I believe, I've never played with this, but I think I've seen it online. I think Byron over there at the Whitetail Experience, I think he has this one. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like the top. So that's going to go that way. There's the front of this. That's going to be a chest harness. I'm assuming. Am I right? That's going to go that way. That looks like a leg strap. That's going to go that way around. So we're going to go like this, I'm thinking. And then these are going to be my leg straps. Right there is my lineman belt loops. So are these quick? Oh, they're even quick pass-through buckles. They're even quick pass-through buckles. I mean, how how great is that? Look at that. Just, you know, like John makes on his tactic saddles. Quick pass-through buckles. Okay, I mean, this is pretty awesome. And I'm probably... It looks like I might have, yeah, that's right. And then uh, where's my other leg one? Right here, quick pass-through buckles. Now, granted, I did not read this, and I very well might be putting something on wrong. I don't wear these types of harnesses. But what I'm getting at here is that you get a full harness like this. Okay, the whole setup. You're getting this whole thing, which is a great harness. Lineman belt loops, wherever my other one is. Right here's my other lineman belt loop, and what is this they're giving us here? That must be a recovery strap, I'm guessing. That's probably some sort of a recovery strap. I'm not going to mess with it, but then you got your you got your lineman belt loops right here for your lineman belt to run your lineman belt system around a tree, and you get this free with it. This is a good quality harness. That's a great harness, lineman belt loop capable, and it comes with it. Minimalist, mist, minimal, minimalist harness, but all of this stuff is here. Plus, they also give you, if you want to use them, two straps to go around your tree that you can then connect your tether right here, which is a suspension style tether. You can lock into your tether with this right here, and they give you, they give you two of these, okay, in there. So this setup is great. I will probably be uh, I will probably, I don't know if I'll keep this or I'm going to be donating this. I'm not sure. We'll figure that one out because, like I said, I, I won't wear them. But then again, um, you know, I might save this for uh, for Bella and uh, for Dylan, too. I'm not quite sure. We'll let them see. But you're getting it for free. This is a quality harness. Okay, this is a good quality, good quality harness. So by getting the harness, which, you know, if you buy any other harness, you're looking at 50 bucks in one list level. You're probably looking at, you know, 70 bucks, 50, 70 bucks. Plus, you got to buy your own lineman belt usually. You're looking at 80 bucks in a harness alone for most of them. Here, you're getting all of that for free with your stand right off the bat. What does this stand cost? $229. Let the reality of that set in. $229 with the cushion with the mesh seat, all the benefits of this, and the harness setup with a lineman belt. $229, okay? When these were being made, when these were being made, okay, they were $239 too back in the day. They also came with a decent harness and a great lineman belt. They, they did, they were fantastic. This one here, Cost you six hundred with shipping, six hundred and fifty dollars for this stand. Six hundred and forty, six hundred and fifty bucks is about where this is at. I think it's five ninety nine now on their site. Now you can get mesh seats. You can get a lot of cool stuff with this, but you have to be the one to decide where that value is for you. For me, I am very excited about this stand. I have now after I've used this thing this whole time or a lot in uh, when I'm out there. On my Midwest trip, like I said, this might be a stand I'm in the whole time out there just because I really like the seat. But uh, if I do, when I get back, I will do a full review on this stand. So it'll be a few weeks before you see it, month, month and a half before you see it. Season might be over or into late season before you see my full review on using this stand. 
But first impressions, pretty amazing. This system combined, okay, this Rubicon stand with the seats and a harness with these sticks that you get right here, you are looking at a grand total expense wise of $330 to have this amazing stand, these incredible sticks. Yes, you are carrying the 23.5 verse um, 19, you're, you are carrying three and a half more pounds of gear with you. Three and a half more pounds or maybe five pounds depending on, uh, yeah, or, or 5.1 pounds, depending on that system or whatever the case is. It's going to, you know, like I said, is there a little bit lighter? Yes, but the sticks are more where the weight is. And I promise you, you'll never be on a more comfortable set of sticks uh, that will get you so high so fast and do it well for the money. For the money, this system is pretty straight up flawless. You really can't beat it. And I'm past the days of thinking that if I, I spend more money, I get something better. Because uh, no offense, I mean, I, I like these other stands that are out there, but um, I find more quirks with them than, and things that piss me off than I do things that don't. The only pure perfection stand that I've used so far is this one. I'm sorry to anybody else, but this, this stand is perfect in every single way. Yet it weighs more than this one does. Okay, this one is 11 pounds. This one, like you see it here, is only 9.6. Let that sink in. All right, so you're getting a lot of bang for the buck here. Um, do I think this stand is a great stand? I do, but it's quirky. Okay, it's got quirks that upset me and bug me. And honestly, I like it a lot, but I'm more excited about using this one, especially giving the cost factor. I'm not knocking that 1.0. It is a great stand. But it's got some quirks and it's a lot of money. When you spend a lot of money, you expect no quirks. Okay, when I buy a stand and I'm going to hunt out of it all the time, I expect no quirks and don't want to tolerate quirks. This one, I don't tolerate any quirks. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pure perfection on every kind of level. This one, that one is no longer available. This one is available and it's available where I could buy three of these for the price of one of them. Three of these for the price of one of them. Or this, I could buy this and the, I could buy two sets of this stand and these sticks for the price of one of those stands. Let the power of that sink in. So for a budget system that's not really missing anything or is not really like a downgrade or not really going to hunt any worse or do anything less or limit you in any way, this combo here, phew, this is going to be a hard one to beat. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.